50th anniversary of Earth Day. And to mark the occasion, we've decided to air a story that we shot before the coronavirus outbreak and before Pennsylvania school buildings were closed for the rest of the academic year. And when local schools project finally paying off in a surprising way and now amid the outbreak is providing another teachable moment. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello has a success story five years in the making. As far as scientific instruments go, these are as low tech as they come. A simple scroll in a bottle, soon to be launched into the ocean as a way to learn about its currents. This is the message in a bottle project. It's part of the oceanography course. We end up putting it in the ocean off the coast of Maine. For five years, students at Philly's Springside Chestnut Hill Academy have been reaching out. I wrote about like the Philly sports teams, like the Sixers and stuff. So I'm like a big Sixers and Eagles fan. Hoping their very Philly messages on school letterhead find someone who will respond. After all, the lesson works best when students can plot where a bottle has traveled. Well, we have close to between 80 and 100 bottles that have gone out over the last five years. But the rate of return is very low, only about 4%. This bottle washed ashore in Maine soon after its launch in 2015, likely riding small currents back to the East Coast. Same for the two bottles discovered on Long Island in 2018. Still, science teacher Dr. Kim Eberly Wong had considered that a success. That is, until this year, when someone sent the school a stunning message. I don't think any of us could really believe that it was in Cuba, like the Cuba, like not Cuba, New York, but like Cuba somewhere else, but the island of Cuba. For the first time, a bottle had hitched a ride on the powerful Gulf Stream and made its way all around the Atlantic Ocean, landing in Cuba. This one? was the only one that took the full trip around and ended up here. A French Canadian couple vacationing in Cuba found the bottle and popped the cork at a beachside bar. Everybody at the bar kind of joined them in opening the bottle, unwrapping the message and trying to decipher, you know, what it actually said. Turns out the letter is one of the school's oldest, written by a student in the very first oceanography class back in 2014. Really, really cool. When hearing back that we got a response five years later, it was kind of crazy. 6,000 miles that I would have had to travel to get to Cuba. And that is an impressive message of a different kind. Because our bottles are able to travel along this current, it also means any plastic waste is also able to travel along that current. You don't even need to throw it in the ocean. It's if you're driving and you throw something out the window, it's going to be washed in the storm drain through the streams and it will end up there. As for the actual message in the bottle, a time capsule of sorts, the student mentioning what was the Ebola crisis and his famous classmate at the time, superstar little leaguer Monet Davis. There are quite a few other bottles that are out there that came from these students that could be drifting up in any number of places. Yeah, those bottles can end up anywhere. And that brings us to our sobering reminder amid this coronavirus pandemic litter involving used face masks and gloves. That litter is ending up everywhere. It is causing quite the problem in a number of communities all across the country. These masks, these gloves can get into our waterways, our oceans and cause so many problems. And as you can see there, it travels far and wide and can end up in places like Cuba, just like that Philly bottle did. Reporting live in Philadelphia, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. An important reminder there, Jan, but really need to see the power of the environment and Mother Nature, that bottle making it all the way.